نستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى في القران الكريم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون اما بعد My dear brothers and sisters for those of you who were last week at Juma we spoke about the legacy of Ibrahim alayhi salam since this is the season of Hajj and Hajj surrounds the actions of Ibrahim and his family we need to reflect a little on that so last week we spoke about his legacy and the legacy that he left the question is that in our situation as muslims we have to ask ourselves what people going to say about us about you when the news reaches them that you are no more and this is the reality of life we have to return to allah in one day we have to return to allah what will people talk about us how people will remember us today when we go to medina we don't see palaces and mansions of the rich companions of the prophet no i don't see a mansion of abdurrahman bin auf i don't see a mansion of uthman bin affan what because they have converted everything that they had Uthman you will go and see a beautiful garden that he donated still stands today that he read salat al jariya from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Abdul Rahman bin Auf he converted his wealth into salat al jariya Uthman bin Affan he converted his wealth in expansion of the prophet's masjid So every time someone prays there that will be an ongoing sadaqa until your mukiyah. And so the question that we want to ask ourselves is that when we pass away how we will be remembered? How people will react to us about us and our death? And so therefore when we look at Ibrahim alayhi salam there was one dua that he made waj'alni lisana sadaqi lisana sadaqin fil akhirin you know what some of the scholars say what this mean we may have a different kind of uh, uh, meaning to it in translation but when you get into the in depth of seal scholars are saying that oh allah leave my memory to be a good one for the later generations and this is you know what we need to do we cannot have a we cannot waste our potential and we see that we see that there were two people in Omar radiyallahu anhu and the Bujahi both of them who were disbelievers at the beginning but one have decided that they want to be different because the prophet alayhi salam made a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh Allah out of these two amrai guide one of them to islam and at, both, at that time nobody knows who is better than who nobody knows whether umar or abu jahal was better than each other at that at that time but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided who umar radiyallahu anhu look let us look at these two people abu jahal when abu jahal was dying in the battle of badr ibn mas'ud one of the early muslims who abu jahal used to i mean persecute jumped on his chest and when abu jahal saw him ibn masud was a very tiny person very tiny petite he was on the chest of abu jahal and abu jahal said to him with all the ego he's dying and he said who is winning He's asking 
Ibn Mas'ud, who is winning, meaning who is winning in the Battle of Badr. What Ibn Mas'ud says, victory belongs to Allah wa Rasulih. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Victory belongs to Allah and his messenger. And Ibn Mas'ud is bleeding, his wound is bleeding, he's dying. But look at that ego, he's asking him. He says, why do you climb this mountain? Meaning his chest. He referred to his chest as a mountain, he's dying. And he bled it to death in disgrace as a piece of garbage, discarded. Would not remember anything about him good in history. Fast forward to Umar radiallahu When he was bleeding to death, when he was stabbed in the Prophet's masjid while leading the salah, what was his reaction? What people were saying, Ya Amir al-Mukmineen, Jazakumul Khair, Jazakumullah for expanding this Muslim ummah, for expanding this Muslim empire. And you should know within the history of Islam, after the death of the Prophet وسلم, Abu Bakr radiallahu anh, basically was maintaining what the Prophet did. There was no major expansion in the Ummah. Right? But when Umar took over, after the death of Abu Bakr radiallahu anh, Umar expanded the Islamic and the Muslim empire and conquered so many places for the Muslims. Victory belongs to Allah, His Messenger, and those who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the legacy. This is the legacy that today when you go to Medina and you see the, the garden of Uthman and the well of Uthman that he bought for the believers from the Jewish men, these are all sadaqa. What is my sadaqa? How I will be remembered? So in this time, in this season of Hajj, we should not only talk about the stories of Ibrahim salam, but we reflect thoroughly and how I can implement and how can I shadow his action that I can be loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the believers of Yom Al-Qiyamah that we will be in the companionship of the Prophet وسلم, and the believers in Jannah al Firdaus al-Alam. This is our this is our ideal situation. This is what we want. And so we want ourselves to know that whatever we do in this dunya, remember, and this is the reason why, Allah radiallahu anhu, he used to do hisab. He used to make hisab in himself. You hasibu and fusakum, qabla and tuhasibu. Every day he used to make muhasana. In the night he used to sit down and say, what? He used to rewind the tape. What did I do today that I shouldn't do? Before I go to sleep, what did I do today that I shouldn't do tomorrow? Omar is constantly doing this. So if you are sitting in his, in his school or he's in his classroom, where he teaches muhasara, this is what we would learn. And this is the reason why Omar, he always, he never, he always, all of the things that he do and he did in his life, he always feel that he need to do more. He never feel accomplished. He never feel it. I I achieved enough, and this is what we should do. You hasibu, you hasibu and physical kabla and hasibu. Check yourself. Make hisab with yourself before you are checked, which is a final check. I pray that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala protect us. May Allah guard us and protect us in this dunya. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala cause us to left a legacy that will be remembered. That people can remember us in a way that will be loving with generosity and a relationship that can be protected. I could call it Hadawastafirullah Mulakum was I must mean could them first fill in a work of Rahim.
So, straighten the line, close the gaps. المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين يا أيها الذين آمنوا استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة إن الله مع الصابرين ولا تكونوا لمن يقتلوا في سبيل الله أموات بل أحياء ولكن لا تشعرون ولا نبلونكم بشيء من الخوف والجوع ونقص من الأموال والأنفس والثمرات وبشر الصابرين الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين أفلا ينظرون إلى الإبل كيف خلقت وإلى السماء كيف رفعت وإلى الجبال كيف نسبت وإلى الأرض كيف سطحت فذكر إنما أنت مذكر لست عليهم بمسيطر إلا من تولى وكفر فيعذبه الله العذاب الأكبر إن إلينا إيابهم ثم إن علينا حسابهم الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده 
Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليكم ورحمة الله